Hello, my name is Dr. Parag Mahajan and I am the principal author of this article titled Rare Case of Pneumorachis, Pneumomedastinum, Pneumothorax and Surgical Emphysema Secondary to Bronchial Asthma Abstract Air localized within the spinal canal is called pneumorachis. In the case of pneumorachis, air can be present in the extradural, the intradural or the subarachnoid space of the spinal canal. The air within the soft tissue of the posterior mediastinum may dissect along facial planes through the intervertebral neural foramina and into the extradural or the subarachnoid space. Non-traumatic pneumorachis is a rare presentation. Most of the time, pneumorachis is asymptomatic, remains localized and resolves spontaneously. There are very few reports of combined presence of pneumomediastinum and extradural pneumorachis not associated with thoracic injury in the published literature. We report a rare case of pneumorachis, pneumomediastinum, pneumothorax and surgical emphysema in an adult female patient developed after a boot of violent cough related to bronchial asthma. This frontal chest radiograph demonstrates surgical emphysema along the upper part of the right lateral chest wall and the right side of the neck, black arrow, air within the superior mediastinum on the right, white arrow, and the loss of volume of the right lung leading to a medicinal shift to the right and the elevation of the right diaphragmatic dome. This radiograph shows the increased severity of pneumodestinum, white arrow, surgical emphysema, black arrow, right lung collapse, and medicinal shift to the right. This chest scan shows air dissecting through the medicinal spaces down arrow and the subcutaneous soft tissue up arrow. Minimal pneumothorax is also noted, left directional arrow. This chest CT scan shows air dissecting through the medicinal spaces down arrow and the subcutaneous soft tissue right directional arrow. Air is also noted within the extradural space in the lower cervical and the upper thoracic spine up arrow. Sagittal reformatted CT scan images of the chest demonstrate air within the extradural space in the lower cervical and the upper thoracic spine arrows. Coronal and actual reformatted CT scan images of the chest demonstrate surgical emphysema along the upper part of the right lateral chest wall and the right side of the neck down arrow, air within the superior mediastinum on the right, right directional arrow, loss of volume of the right lung leading to the mediastinal shift to the right, elevation of the right diaphragmatic dome and obstruction of the segment of right upper lobe bronchus by mucus plugs A and B up arrows. This chest radiograph demonstrates complete resolution of surgical emphysema and pneumomediastinum and significant inflation of the right lung on the Fifth hospital admission day. Pneumorachis can be classified by etiology into traumatic, non traumatic, and iatrogenic types. In most cases, extradural pneumorachis is self limiting and resolves spontaneously when the etiological entity is taken care of. In our case also, the pneumorachis resolves spontaneously. A rare case of symptomatic pneumorachis having neurological deficits has been reported. In conclusion, we present a very rare case of extradural pneumorachis due to pneumomedastinum which in turn was secondary to bronchial asthma. Most cases of pneumorachis can be managed conservatively as spontaneous resolution is common.